just in previous lecture we will see to find the density of a region we need to know some basic concept means dense region means mean points epsilon border points everything so in this lecture we will see how to define the mean points and epsilon okay so let's see so the mean points and the epsilon that we are going to, that we will going to discuss these two things are all the hyperparameter in a density based clustering or in example db scan so these are the hyperparameter of db scan hyper these are the hyperparameter in points and epsilon these two are the hyperparameter okay so so first define the what is mean point what do you define this mean point so so to define the mean points the mean points is to define the density of a at a point so to define the density To define the density at a point, suppose let at a point P. So we have to find the density point. So to define the density of a point, we need to know the number of points, how much point we have in that in that regions to around that point. So the density at a point P, we need to know the number of points within a hypersphere we have already we have already learned the concept of hypersphere what is hypersphere okay hyper is p -E -R -E. okay hype is p e r e i think i think it will be s p e r e within a hypersphere of radius of some radius suppose let's take of radius some radius let's call eps epsilon epsilon radius these two are the key points here number of points within a hypersphere of radius epsilon around p around p around this point p So now let's try to first try to understand the hypersphere. So at the beginning of our yeah means of the beginning of supervised supervised learning means in logistic regressions, linear regressions. If you remember, we have learned the concept of hypersphere. Means in many dimensions, higher dimensional space, we call this thing a hypersphere in higher dimensional space. In higher dimension we call it the hypersphere but in 2d we call is a circle in 2d we call it circle in 3d we call it a sphere sorry 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 for my bad i am doing that mistake sphere i am doing the spelling of the sphere sorry for that it's my bad okay sphere so in 3d we call it is a sphere in 2d we call it is a circle we have already learned this so let's try to understand to an example suppose let a uh, in our data set suppose as regular suppose let's take in our data set this is our data point one point and we call this point is a p point so let's this is a p point okay and around this point we have to find the density of that point so we have to find the the 
around around we have to find the number of points around the point number of points within a hypersphere suppose let's take i am considering here the 2d example okay so within a hypersphere means within a circle of radius epsilon suppose let's take we call this epsilon epsilon okay i am using this symbol epsilon as epsilon epsilon so suppose let's take i am taking with some radius here epsilon radius suppose let's take i am taking some radius here so it will tell i pay suppose let's take okay so okay suppose let's take this is the circle at within this circle we have a point suppose let's take p we have we have a point something so now based on this point we have make a circle epsilon based so, so to epsilon based circle we make a radius suppose let's take this is the radius and these are the epsilon this this length of this that we have is epsilon and now let's take the another point that we have in that region here this one this one this one this one suppose let's take in this total region the other points are four points that we have four point so we call that here in these regions we call that the density of that region around this point p the density will be around this point p so here we have how much point we have here the number of points is extra one two three four points around the point and if we take in this point itself the so total we have five points so we call that here density is density is equals to total we have five because we have five points around this region okay so the main concept the main point the concept we are going to discuss here the concept of the main point is like that there is something little bit zoom out it's okay so the density so the main point since i'm going to discuss the main points the number of points within a point in within a hypersphere around some radius so this thing called the main point and this number of points each concept is the main point means the number of points in around a point with based some radius epsilon these are these are the number of points are called the main point. so here the main points is okay so density or mean point we can call around this point is five okay i think you got the answer what is the definitions what is the concept of the mean point the simple idea is mean points is the so around a point the number of points means the minimum number of point within a hypersphere of, of, of some radius epsilon around some point p okay so this is the main point number of main point of some point p so in another language we call this thing main points of some point p is equals to five okay i think you got that you got the idea of it so now let's disk let's define the dense region uh, how to define means now we will define the density of a point we call these things the main point density of a point p we call it's the main points of p. main points of p we call this is the main points of the point p now define the now let's define 
the concept of the dense region. What is dense region? What is this dense concept? So let's see. Let's see the concept. So the definitions of the dense region. It will be now. The definitions now it will be a hypersphere of a radius of some radius epsilon that contains at least mean point. Not, not less than that number of mean point. So at least the regions it will be contents the, uh, that much point. So let's try to understand. So the suppose let's take the region that we have these two pi type of region. This is one region. This is another region. Okay. So the suppose let's take the point here. The point here P suppose let's at the point here is P. Yes. These are the P. Now on this region, suppose let on this region we may we have we have uh, this much point. Three, four, five, six, seven. So both the both the cases the epsilon is same. Both the cases the epsilon same epsilon we have taken here. Both the cases some same epsilon have taken here. Some radius. This is same epsilon. Okay. Now, but in this region we have uh, suppose let's take we have how much? Three, total three points but here we have how much one two three four five six seven eight nine so here the, the we have how much points here the, if you just see this thing you want to one two three four five six seven eight nine total nine point we have here so here the total number of points nine points we have total nine points here, but here how much point we have? One, two, three, four. Total we have four points. Here total we have four points. Okay. So now suppose let's take for these two regions we have the we have defined the mean points. It suppose let's take five. Suppose for these two regions we have defined. So let let. Let for these two regions the mean points, mean points of their point P let is equals to 5. Let we define this. So now on the basis of these mean regions, means it's in these regions are contents more than 5 points. So we now conclude that. This is a dense region. Now we can conclude that this is a dense region. But this is a not dense region, means this is a sparse region. Why this thing? Why this thing? Because because the number of points on that regions is greater than the mean points of P. So this point number of points is greater than the mean points. Mean points, but here the number of points is less than mean points. It means at least we have to maintain the mean the main points on that region then we call it is a dense region so for these regions we have used the greater than equals to and here less than sparse region so that regions call these things as a sparse region okay i think you got the idea now 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 try to now let 
now let write the definitions of the now let write the definitions of the main points and the uh, dense regions now the, let the definitions of the dense region what is dense region now let's write the definitions of it so now the definitions of the dense region it will be a hypersphere or simple simple in general yes a hypersphere of some radius epsilon of some radius epsilon eps means epsilon that contains that contains at least at least that contains at least at least at least mean points points mean points contents at least mean points points mean points points means at least minimum these points just in previous we got the concept of what is mean points now at least these mass points we have we have to contain so at least if this number of points this regions content then we call this is a dense regions otherwise we call this is a sparse region okay i think you got the idea how these two hyperparameters have defined here i think you got the idea from these two examples what is mean point and what is the epsilon okay so just if you recap these things mean point is simple the number of points within a hypersphere of some radius around some point the mean point that is called the mean point okay so including also that point in that region say we have comp in that region the number of points content is 5 the mean points of that point is 5 so the dense regions is now here a hypersphere of some radius epsilon that contains at least mean points of point mean points of point at least at least you have to contain they have to content this much number of points mean points of point then we call this region is a dense region otherwise we call this is a sparse region okay i think you got the idea so in the next lecture in next video we will see how to define the core point border point noise points we will see this thing in the next video so, so the, this, the motto of this video, I think you have clear.